Hello everyone. We are going to see how to create a WCF service and host it on a Windows service. So let's begin. Create a new project. Select WCF service library. Next, I'm going to give it a name Garish service library. Say and create. This creates a service for us. Let's delete some unwanted bits, keep it simple. Okay, let's rename this to my garish service. Save, open this one, select rename it to garish service. Okay, we don't need this method. And this is our service. Let's test it using Visual Studio. So as you can see, our service is running fine. So we can test it by giving some number. Invoke, you entered 22. So this service is created correctly. So it has some app configuration. We don't need it. Now what we want to do, we want to add a new project. Uh, that is our Windows service project. Add a new project to host this service. So I'm going to select a Windows service .NET. And this will be my <clears throat> uh, Windows service host. Let's create. So it has created this Windows service host. What do we want to do? We want to add references first. Let's add a reference to our service library. Uh, let's add a reference to the assembly of uh, service model. So let's add this, okay, and with this, build it. Now, once you have built it, you get this great service library here. So what you can do is uh, in this app config, you can right click and say, edit WC configuration, create a new service, browse, go to bin, go to debug, go to select this great service library, and in that select this okay next next select a tcp have a tcp endpoint and then give some path localhost 1991 slash my service okay and finish close this say yes i want to change and as you can see this new block gets added in uh, this new block gets added in app config okay so you should be able to refer to your service now so go to this uh, okay so let's rename this service first rename it to my host service yes and if I double click this uh, what you can do is you can say add installer uh, in the service process installer, let's check, select the account as network service because we want it to get access to, in the network by all network users. Uh, save it. So this is network service. In the service installer, select a start type to automatic. And uh, display name to Girish service 11. Just like that. Description is Garish service for WCF 11. Just like that. And save all and uh, build it. Build succeeds. Now go to your service. Switch to code view. Here first include your service class, uh, service namespace using Garish library. Similarly, using system dot service model. So we need these two because first we want to create a service host. SH is equal to null. Uh, initialize with a null. On the start, I'm going to initialize it to so it's equal to new service host, and this takes two two uh, parameters type of uh, service and the URI which is our path that we specify here. So I'm going to simply copy this path and 
and use it here and when I say this and I will say sh yes, dot start start or oh, what is it sh yes, dot open and when I stop my service what I want to do is if sh yes, is not equal to null I'm going to say sh yes, dot close and uh, I'm going to dispose it here okay so this is what I want to want to happen on starting and stopping of my service so I'm going to build it so this will create executable Windows service host.exe now I want to install this service so for that I need a developer command prompt to run it as an administrator so when I run it go to D drive uh, go to go to this service library project windows service host bin debug we want to go here so cd right click go here and there is uh, something called as install util.exe and agish service library uh, windows service host.exe and uh, this will install it installation failed uh, the transacted install has completed okay it worked to some extent, I guess, but not completely. So we can go to services and check if this service is there. Grish window service to host WCF. Uh, so if I, uh, if I say slash u, it will uninstall it if it is there. And if I say install, uh, it will install okay the, inst the installation is done now probably it was the previous service which was still there so now what I will do is the service is running uh, service is not running it's uh, there now we can start it uh, and how do we test that uh, that's um, a uh, few things that we will have to do is go to app config we'll have to create a, another endpoint okay so that endpoint will be something like uh, for our metadata exchange. So I'm going to add this here. I'm going to copy my service address and I'm going to paste it uh, here. And I am going to create a new behavior. And I'll copy this behavior to service model behavior and uh, here my service can have behavior configuration as uh, my okay so this will enable my service to get identified outside so with this i will build my application and i will install it it's there now if i create another application I can check if I can access my service. So create a new project. I will say a console app. Next, uh, this is just a testing app. So any name will do. And this new application is created. So here when I say right click, add a service reference. And if I give this address, if I say go, uh, it will not be able to find it because that service is not running. Okay, so it gives error. But now if I say right click, start this service, service is running. And if I go and say go, now it finds the service. Okay, so this is good. So this proves that our service, uh, as, you key, uh, as you start and stop your service, our WCF service is present. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.